Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and we're going to look at an oddly specific aspect of pliers, namely the uh, grip textures of the handles. And what I've got is a nice set of, of snap-ons here, and we've got beautiful, this is kind of a, a red comfort grip vinyl, and this one here, this is actually a red comfort grip vinyl, and this one here is the standard red, red comfort grip vinyl, this is kind of a nice red comfort grip vinyl, and this one and this one are both very similar. They're both red comfort grip vinyl. And this is a small one here, and they've actually put a red comfort grip vinyl on it. And this is their largest plier, you know, it's in contrast, and this has got a beautiful red comfort grip vinyl. Well, obviously that has run its course here in my video, and what we're gonna look at is actually some vintage pliers and the particular grips that have been machined or forged into the handles. Now this is a classic here. You can see this is a snap-on and this is their vacuum grip or vacuum type grip. They um, argued that this was a really firm grip. It looks like you know an octopus tentacle here. Um, does it actually work really well? Eh, it's marginal. I mean it's a grip. It's pretty uniform. One of the things I've been looking at is, you know, how much forging, how much design forging had to go into it. This is pretty straightforward, um, but still pretty cool. What's this guy? Here we've got the parrot head. Um, and out of Oklahoma City, what did they do? They used this kind of a standard uh, texture here. Um, Kind of like what you might see on a stock or on certain other items um, where they've got a uh, finish that's basically just a nice kind of a crosshatch cross texture. Let's get a little fancier. What do we got here? We've got in this one, this is a, a Willard. Um, pretty much I think everything here except this one is made in America. And what does that look like? It's a much finer um, you can see kind of a square, you know, uh, up, down, left, right, a row and column cut that actually creates um, a fairly textured environment for your hand. But what's interesting about this is just the, the, the machining that took place to make this. Because it isn't just cut into the handle, there's also some relief which means that these actually have kind of points that that um, allow you to grip it fairly well. Let's turn up the volume here. Now we're getting into some kind of the the art deco-y ones where somebody spent a little time making a design and that design changes throughout the grip. What do we have here? You can see this. Um, you might know this tool company. I am unfamiliar with it. Again, a USA mud made one. Champion, maybe? Um, in Meadville, Pennsylvania. USA. Uh, but look at the grip. So we've got kind of a, an arrow motif going on here. And this is the beginning of the Art Deco ones. Here's a Craftsman, kind of a classic diamond. I don't think there's any particular grip design uh, that, that grabs the hand very well, but this one certainly doesn't. But I appreciate it. Almost an Aztec, um, or Navajo even, um, relationship in the, the slices, the angles, the diamonds. Um, I would expect to see something like that maybe on a quilt or a blanket. Um, and we go to this. This to me is a nice Art Deco design. I would think that would be kind of some trim in the Empire State Building. Some 1930s construction would use, you know, that intricacy. Probably a little too fancy for a bungalow, but... Art Deco comes to mind when I see that. What do we have here? 
This is that Proto I got the other day. This, of course, was that Craftsman. And then what do we have? This one's interesting. Have you ever seen a pair of Toyota pliers made in Japan? Had to get these to complement my Toyota wrenches. Uh, here, zigzags back and forth, but this, this intersection in the middle, that's totally unnecessary. That's pure art. So they've got these chevrons moving up and moving down, and they meet in the middle in this big X. I think it's better defined on this side. Uh, so that's Toyota. So they spent some time. They could have just done cross hatches and called it, called it a day, but they didn't. They actually spent time making a beautiful design. And then finally, what do we have here? We have got a pair. These are actually PNC manufactured USA. This is, I think it's model number. I think it's 1216, maybe? 1218. That's what that is. Um, battery pliers. But look at that. Look at the fine, almost scrimshaw-like engraving. I mean, these are reminiscent of feathers. And then they meet in the middle. Unlike the Toyota, it's not just an X. Look at that. The, it's almost like it was engraved into the handle on both sides. And they didn't just leave those open. They actually put an element inside the open triangles where the two ends met. You know, I kind of miss that. I kind of miss the idea of spending time intricately designing the artistic elements of a plier handle that isn't just designed for grip. I mean, you can grip these if they're smooth, and in fact, as I was searching around, I found way more smooth pliers than I did ones with any kind of intricacy. But as I started looking closely, you know, there was some effort, some time, some, some care, you know, in the old days whenever these guys were made, where they, they wanted to show some artistic flair in the pliers and not just throw a red vinyl handle over the top of it. Anyway, I would be curious what you've got in your toolboxes. Do you have any of these amazing intricate designs on your plier handles? Um, and maybe you could talk one of the companies into bringing some of this back. To me, it means they care. And with that, dock out.